loyalty tests. Obvious lies reveal the devotion of those who concur and the integrity of those who do not. I guess we know where Noah stands. I'm joined now by former NOAA Principal Deputy and General Counsel Monica Medina. Monica, you were shocked by the NOAA statement, right? I was shocked. I found it completely unprecedented and really dangerous and out of control. Well, the former NOAA Chief Operating Officer also tweeted, perhaps the darkest day ever for NOAA leadership. Don't know how they will ever look their workforce in the eye again. Moral cowardice. What's your thought on that? I completely agree. And the fact that no one was willing to put their name on that statement means that it was a, the subject of political pressure. And that's just been unheard of in the Weather Service. And it's dangerous. It puts American lives at risk. Yeah, I was going to ask you, as former general counsel, not signing it, does that have a legal kind of uh, protection for, for NOAA or for whoever drafted it? What, do you, what did you make of that? Well, I think there ought to be an investigation and figure out who was behind that and why they let it go. If I had been general counsel at the time, I would have pushed back hard. And if my bosses had told me to put that out, I would have quit. And I can tell you that the hmm. previous NOAA administrators all disavowed that statement today. Yeah. The ones I worked for were as horrified as I was at this turn of events. Well, and I know, I mean, I know there are great people that work there. What do you think morale is like for them? It's devastating, and you well documented all the ways that the president has undermined other agencies. But until now, NOAA had been relatively unscathed, and that's a good thing because we need the public to trust those forecasts and to believe yeah. that they're true. And we need those weather forecasters to be able to make those little corrections. It wasn't a big deal what the Birmingham Weather Office did to correct the misperception about the storm track. That's exactly what we should want them to do. And now I think they'll all think twice. Monica Medina, thanks.